Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how we can create a delete model in the Vue.js app. For example, if I am trying to delete this one, automatically it is getting deleted, right? So what I want to do is, so in order to delete a node, we will show a model pop-up and if he clicks on the delete, then we should delete this pop, delete this node. Or otherwise, if we click on the cancel, we should not delete it. So that means we need to design a model pop-up, delete model. How we can design it? Let's try to see. For this one, what we need to do? First, we need to create a component. So in this components, I will be creating new file, delete note model dot view file. So this is our delete note model. And here is our template. And here I will be writing delete model. So this is our component. And where I need to use it, I need to use it in the single node. Why? Because in the, in the in this node, we will be having the delete node, right? So here we need to add it. Now let's import this delete node. Import delete, sorry, import delete model, delete node model. Yeah. Now here, let's go here into this one and I will add delete, delete node model. This is our component. Fine. Now, if you try to see the output, so here we are able to see the delete model. If I refresh this page, if I go here, so delete model, it is there. Now, what we need to do, we need to design the model. For this one, what I need to do is first we, uh, first we need to design this delete model. For this one, what we need to do here, I need to create a variable constant models is equal to delete model and this should be a reactive. So here this time I am using the reactive, reactive of like this and I will use delete model false. So here I am why I am creating this models uh, constant is for example if you are having couple of models you can have delete model edit model like this add model like this you can have it in one models variable. So delete model false. Now here I need to show v iPhone if models dot delete model. That's it. When it is true we will be showing this one. Fine. Now it's time for us to design the delete model. If I refresh this page, now this time delete model is not able to visible. Now here, what we need to do, we need to design the delete model. <clears throat> How we can design it? We have the Bulma with us. So we have a delete mo model pop-ups in the Bulma on the components in the model, we'll be able to see. So if we click here, so this is, this is not nice and this is also not nice. And here, so this one is looking somewhat nice. Fine, let's copy this one. I will copy this entire thing and here I will paste this one out. Yeah, that's it. Now this is our delete model. Now if I click on this one, if I if I click on this uh, delete button, so we need to make this one as true. What is delete model as true? Let's go to this delete here. Handle delete click is there, right? So this time we should not delete this store uh, note automatically. First, we need to show models dot delete model is equal to true. So first, we need to make it as a true so that the pop up will be visible. Let's see how it will look like. And if I show you the output here, refresh this page. When I click on the delete, I'm clicking on the delete. Nothing is working. So what is happening here is in order to make this model work. So we need to add here is an active then only this model will be visible. Now, if you try to see here, we are able to see the changes. Now, if I click, if I refresh this page, I click delete model is able to see. So, but I cannot close this one. Why? Because we haven't written the functionality for this close button. Fine. So now let's, let's write some code here. Are you sure you want to delete it? Are you sure you want to delete? Okay. Now, if you see here, let's see the output. Yeah, delete it. Now we are able to see, are you sure you want to delete? And here uh, we can remove this model title and I can write delete note. Okay. And if I try to see the output, yeah. And save changes cancel. So this one will uh, move aside. So here and i will try to do delete okay and cancel we'll keep it like this only and instead of using the success we'll use the danger and if you see here yeah delete and cancel if i click on the cancel 
So if you want, you can move it right side also, you can do it. It's not a problem. I'm not doing it. This is not a design thing, right? So just we want to design the model. That's it. So here, if I close, if I cancel this one, so we need to make it close. How can I make this one? So here we are having a single node. What is the variable it is trying to make it? Delete model. So let's pass this delete model here. So we have a model delete models dot delete model right so if i try to so we already learned about this one if you pass vif model to a component so delete model is there now let's go into this one and here i will be having a script setup okay and here i can use something like uh, constant props is equal to define props define props and we will be getting the model value sorry this should be model 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 value and here its type is boolean and the required is true okay so we got the model value now we will use the emits also emits is equal to define emits of so what we will be getting update model value so we got the emits also now when the user clicks on this one so at the rate click is equal to close model so this is the method we need to execute it so here i can write constant close model is equal to same and here we need to emit emits of update model value model value and we need to return the false so that the model value will be updated so fine and for the same thing for the close button also we need to use at the rate click is equal to close model okay that's it now let's see whether it will work or not if i go into this one if i refresh this page and here if i click on this delete model fine it is working and close here see it's working and if i click here if i click on the cancel cancel is not working what is the problem let's see button class danger close model close model is there both are there what could be the issue let go and see here in the console do we getting a are we getting any error cancel we are not getting any error so what could be the issue here let's see the output close model update model value emits emits and everything is working fine and the red click is equal to close model so it's everything is correct only right so what could be the issue cancel is not working oh sorry so we have written for the delete which should we should be written for the cancel so delete means we should delete it right cancel means we should close the model so it's my mistake come entirely my mistake so i thought of writing the delete first and afterwards cancel but we are doing vice versa right so here cancel is also it works so if i click on this one this one also works so either way both are working so now it's time for us to do this one and now what we need to do is when i click outside also the model should close if i click if i if i do escape also if i click on the escape button also then also it should close so the two events also it should here not only for the click if i click outside also it needs to close the model if i click escape also it needs to close the model so let's try to do these two things in the next video so we have designed the model for this one what i will try to do is i will commit this code entire code video hyphen 91 so this is our video hyphen 91 and model pop-up design delete model design okay and i will commit this code so whoever wants to refer this code so they can go to my github branch so here github note list view so this is provided in the description below the link whoever may be having the doubts regarding the code and all those things so they can come here and i can they can take the clone or they can download the zip and they can go to the they can see this your uh, code Hope you understood about this delete model. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.